Hi everybody, so a co couple of people asked me how I go about doing uh, my 80s inspired text effects, so I'm gonna go over my workflow today. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up uh, Illustrator and create a new file that is 1024 pixels by 1024. And by using the text tool, uh, you can go ahead and write whatever text you wanna turn into an 80s cool text effect. And all the fonts I'm using are going to be in the video description, so you can go and download them. You can now roughly center your text, right click on it, and click on Create Outline. You can then duplicate the text by dragging it and holding the Alt key. And you can change one of the text color to white. Obviously, we don't see the text anymore, so I'm quickly adding a dark background to see uh, my text. So I just use the rectangle tool, uh, use the color palette to change the color, right click on the object and arrange, send to back. You can then change the other text color to a very saturated red and align both texts in the center of the canvas. Uh, send the red one in the back by right clicking arrange send backward. You can now select both texts and go to object blend blend options to specify the steps and change the value to 200. Then go to object blend make. You can then get rid of the black background, save your file and import it into Photoshop. I'm using a file of 2048 pixels by 2048. I'm creating a background by selecting a dark color and by using Alt Backspace to fill my base layer. To import an Illustrator file into a Photoshop project, you only need to drag and drop it inside your, can your canvas. I then scaled it to my liking by holding Alt and Shift and dragging the corner of the bounding box. I then use the text tool to add a new text and choose a very saturated red color and then adjust where I want to place it. You can now double click on your text layer to bring up the layer style window and you can copy the settings I put inside the bevel and emboss tab. The important part is that you put the highlight mode and shadow mode to normal and that you choose colors for each one of them. I then go to the outer glow tab, make sure the anti-aliasing is checked and that the range is set to 100, change the color to a red and mess around with the opacity, size and spread. Another thing that you can do is select your uh, illustrator layer and duplicate it by using Ctrl J twice and if you double click on it to bring up the layer style you can uncheck the green and blue channels and the red and blue channel for the other one. Then by using the arrows on your keyboard you can uh, offset it slightly and put them in a group and mess around with the opacity. Around 70% should be good. So this is the final product and uh, thank you for watching.